Today I'm going on a game show. If I win, I have no idea what I get. But if I lose, I am literally going to die. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Who Wants to Be a Murderer? Warning, sensitive content, simulated violence, aberrant decisions ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, one and all, to the twisted spectacle that is our game show. Today, my dear viewers, we have a most intriguing cast of characters lined up for your entertainment. But enough from me, let's dive right in and meet our first participant, shall we? And now, from the bustling metropolis of Chicago, where truth is a commodity by the... We welcome Sarah Thompson, a journalist diligently seeking the ultimate scoop. Good evening, viewers. Let's have some fun and games, shall we? From the concrete jungle of New York City, where dreams come to die, we have the enigmatic Richard Greystone, a man whose legal prowess is matched only by his moral flexibility. <laughs> Greetings, esteemed guests. It's a pleasure to grace your screens with my presence. Let the games begin. Next up, straight from Canada, with the skill and determination of a true gamer, our wildcard participant, Matt. Wait, what? How did he know I was from Canada? I never told him that. How did he know I was a true gamer? I never told him that. Hey, what? How did you know all that about me? And of course, our final contestant needs no introduction, hailing from the foggy streets of London, where whispers of the occult echo through the night. We have the inscrutable Edgar Darkwood, a man whose secrets are as numerous as the stars themselves. Greetings, mortals. Let's embrace the unknown together. And there you have it, dear viewers, our motley crew of contestants, each with their own dark desires and ambitions. Ready to do battle in this arena, so sit back, relax, and prepare yourselves for a journey into the heart of madness. Let the games begin, and may the odds be ever in your favor. Welcome to the first phase of the show. This is where we separate the wheat from the chaff, the knowledge seekers from the mere mortals. In this round, your gray matter will be put to the test and every correct answer will swell your coffers by a handsome $10,000. Now, without further ado, let's delve into the depths of the unknown, shall we? It's your turn, Matt. Ready? No, I'm not ready. Who was the infamous serial killer known as Jack the Ripper? I don't think they know who Jack the Ripper was, do they? I don't think Jack Unterweger is a is is the name of the guy. He's from the UK, right? He's London. He's the guy in London. We don't know who that is. And the answer is correct. Yes. Jack the Ripper remains one of history's most notorious unidentified serial killers, terrorizing the streets of London in the late 19th century. It's your turn, Richard. Ready? What ancient torture method involves tying a person to four horses and pulling them apart in different directions? The answers are A. Flaying B. Quartering C. Impalement D. Drawing and quartering Drawing and quartering sounds right or quartering? My guess is drawing and quartering And the answer is Correct! Good job, bro. Good job. Richard with the $10,000. Drawing a quartering where the only thing more torn apart than the victim is the rule book of human decency. Let's hear it, Sarah! Questions up. Which ancient civilization believed in human sacrifice to appease their gods? The answers are... A. Aztecs. B. Romans. I think it was the Spartans. C. Greeks. D. Egyptians. My guess is Aztecs. And the answer is... Correct! Nobody's gonna die. The Aztecs, masters of both pyramid construction and human resources, made the most of their lofty aspirations. Oh, what heights they reached! Let's hear it, Edgar! Questions up. I was thinking about in 300, where they throw the babies in the pit. Different. Who is a notorious figure associated with the legend of Dracula? The answers are... A. Attila the Hun. B. Vlad the Impaler. C, Ivan the Terrible, and D, Genghis Khan. It's a B, Edgar. My guess is Attila the Hunt. And the answer is... Why would he pick Attila the Hunt? Wrong! Bro is a vampire! Vlad the Impaler, also known as Vlad Dracula, inspired the infamous bloodthirsty vampire of legend, casting a shadow of fear across Transylvania. That concludes our first round and ma of mind-bending questions, folks. And with that, we'll be taking a short break for our sponsors, but don't wander off, my lovely. When we return, it's time for a bloody exciting game coming up next. And remember, there's no cutting corners here. Well, except when it comes to the mini game with a knife, of course. Huh, that sounds a little bit, uh, 
Concerning, maybe. My dear contestants, we're off the air for now, but fear not. If you need anything, anything at all, you know where to find me. Just don't keep me waiting too long. So, what? Oh! I can chat with the other contestants now? Learn more about them? I thought that guy was gonna die. I guess he don't die yet. Let's talk to Sarah. I, I don't know if I can do this, Matt. I'm scared. What if I mess up? What if I get hurt? You're stronger than you think, Sarah. This game might be tough, but we'll through it together. You really think so? Okay, Matt, let's do this. <laughs> I'm gonna betray her so good. Now this guy, Edgar, he's having a bad time. Ready for the knife game? Just remember to take it slow and steady. No need to rush in anything risky. Okay, Edgar, well you rushed into a wrong answer earlier, so you suck. With this knife game coming up, who knows what'll happen. I heard Sarah's not handling it too well. Makes you wonder if she'll make it through in one piece. Are you not entertained, audience? Are you not excited to see one or more of these people? Be murdered in cold blood or something? If, if that's what happens in this game, I wouldn't know. I've never played it before, okay? Jeez. Excellent, let's dive back in. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on air. Now it's time for our first mini game of the evening where contestants' courage will be put to the test. Let's see if they have what it takes to handle a little knife play. Here are the rules. Contestants will have 30 seconds to score as many points as possible. They must touch the table with the tip of the knife, avoiding any mishaps with their hands. At the end of the timer, the contestants with the lowest score will be the first to face elimination. Let the games begin! Oh my god. Oh, oh, okay, I think I clicked off the screen for a second. This should be no problem, right? Should be easy. I'm not gonna hurt myself. Uh. Ow! Jeez Louise, ouch, uh. ow! I hurt myself a couple times, guys. I guess that's just bound to happen. I'm still gonna do better than that guy across from me who doesn't have any points. He sucks. See, 22, 20. 23. I tied with the guy across from me, but the other guy, he did, he did worse. That's good. That's very good. Can I get a band-aid, by the way? And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. The first seed elimination! This guy's gonna die! This guy's gonna die! The unfortunate soul who will be bidding us adieu tonight is none other than... Richard. Richard! Wow, that was fast. He can't really be dead, can he? Those screams sent chills down my spine. Now the game truly begins. Here we are, let's continue with the show. <laughs> okay, we're diving straight into our second round of questions. Where the contestants' moral fiber will be put under the microscope for all to see. Every answer in this round will earn you $10,000. So feel free to speak your mind without any inhibitions. Wait, every answer? Let's see who will rise to the occasion and who will falter under the weight of their own conscience. Get ready for some thought-provoking questions, folks. I have a feeling you're gonna leave Sarah till the end, so I have to kill her. Here we go, Matt, question time. You find a wallet on the street with a large sum of money inside, what do you do? Ha! Huh. Well, in real life, and I've done this before, once when I was in Quebec, I was, in, I was at a summer camp, and I came across a wallet on the campus I was at. And I, uh, I, I think I somehow got a con in contact with someone that was uh, a relative of this guy. I can't remember how but I did manage to contact them. I got their mailing address and I sent them all the stuff in the mail. It included money in a wallet, okay? Just so you know, I didn't, I didn't take any of it, but I'm a murderer. I'm, I'm, I'm a murderer would probably just keep the money and toss the wallet, smart, okay? You can't, you can't trace the money. Oh, interesting. That's not for me. Wait, how did I get 25? Ah, oh, the allure of easy cash. Remember, finders, keepers, losers. Well, you know the rest. Choose wisely. Get ready, Sarah, it's time. You receive a letter containing disturbing photographs of yourself taken without your knowledge. How do you respond, Sarah? The answers are... A, notify authorities and seek protection. B, dismiss it as amateur blackmail. C, use them for promotional material. And D, investigate and take legal action. Weird question, I don't know how morals come into this. My answer is notify authorities and seek protection. Oh, interesting. A picture's worth a thousand words, or in this case, a thousand nightmares. Did they say 15 or 10,000? Because they're giving us 15K for these. Anyway, you witness a crime, but are offered a large sum of money to remain silent. What's your response? Depends on the amount of money for me. I mean, and it depends on the crime. Demand more money for your silence? Refuse the bribe and do nothing? Report the crime to the authorities, or accept the bribe and stay silent. I'm, I'd be demanding more. I think Edgar might do that too. Accept the bribe and say, Edgar, what a loser, come on, bro. Whatever, take your $15,000.
It's cool. Congratulations. You're still in last place. To speak or to profit from silence, a moral quandary ripe for something. All right, folks, that wraps up the second round of questioning. And my, my, have we peeled back some layers. Now we got a glimpse of the real deal, the raw essence of each contestant. The voting phase is up next. Stay tuned. After this short break, we'll reveal the two finalists of this twisted little game. Voting? I, I didn't sign up for this. The shadows deepen. Sarah, how you doing, Sarah? How you holding up? And also, what are you wearing? It's kind of weird looking. I can't believe I misjudged you. I thought you were better than this. Is that all you got for me? Be <laughs> I am here to win. I'm not better than nobody. Welcome back, folks. We're live again. Before we dive back in, here's a quick shopping advice. Looper the Last Mission, a small arcade shooter where you're trapped in a time loop and battle against your past selves and its ability. It's available at the incredible price of whatever that was. It's time to introduce our next phase of voting round. I try to read things for you guys. It's so hard to do sometimes. Each player will cast their vote on who they believe should be eliminated. The contestant with the most votes will be out of the game. Now, to avoid any unpleasant deadlock situations where everyone gets a vote, in that case, all participants will be eliminated and there's no winner. Oh, God. So think carefully, including who you believe others might vote for. All right, let's get down to it. Matt, who are you voting for? I wanna, I was gonna vote for Edgar, but the way Sarah talked to me makes me feel like she might actually vote me out because she doesn't trust me anymore because I was like, uh, I'm a bad person. Should I have been a good person? I think Sarah is too good of a person. Her answer was like way too like normal, you know? Oh, I, I, I'd notify the authorities and seek protection. Like, who are you? Come on. And that's actually what someone should probably do in real life, but I gotta, I gotta, Sarah, you gotta go. Okay. Edgar is a wild card, but I really feel like Sarah is gonna vote me, so it's all over, Sarah. I mean, we got a, we got a little Mexican standoff going on here. That's cool. We'll all die, okay? She needs time to think. She voted for... I told you. I told you she was gonna vote for me that... No! No! Why? Why did you vote for me? What did I do wrong? I didn't do nothing. I'm looking at this wall of aberration here, guys, and I gotta say, whoever's been playing this game has been killing a lot of people. Let's try again. Okay, that was that was cool. That was cool. I don't know why they hated me so much. I Maybe I'll be a better person next time. I thought coming across as a bad person was how you win, but I think I need to play it a little safer, you know? So let's try that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome one and all to the twisted spectacle that is aberration. Button, 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 button. Button? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Okay, now he's saying it again. Cool. That was weird. I don't like what's happening here. This game's not acting right. Everyone's just staring at me. I can't do anything. Can you not, please? Okay, I'm gonna I'm quit and get back in, okay? I don't know how I managed to break so many games. Like, I didn't even do anything. Question number one. What is the deepest trench in the ocean called? It's like impossible to get this one wrong. I mean, it's the Mariana Trench. Everyone knows the Mariana Trench is like really deep, okay? They even named a band after it. That's probably why I know it, to be honest. And the answer is correct. Let's go. Okay, so that's great. Richard, what is the name of the mysterious forest in Romania known as the most haunted forest in the world? The answers are Eokigahara Forest. I think that's the Japanese one. The, the Logan Paul Forest. Black Forest. Hola Baku Forest. And Daring Woods. I don't actually know. I, I, I Hoya, I think it's Hoya. I'm gonna go with that one. My guess is Hoya Back You Forest. And the answer is correct! I'm so good. I'm so good. The Hoya Back You Forest, where trees whisper secrets and shadows dance with the damned. A walk in the park. If the park were hell itself. And now Sarah. Sarah, what is the name of the infamous serial killer who inspired the character of Hannibal Lecter? Is this the one where the answer is Ed Gein? Because I saw that the, the, the answer is wrong or something like that. Ted Bundy, Ed Gein, John Wayne Gacy, and Jeffrey Dahmer. I probably would have guessed John Wayne Gacy. It's only the fact that somebody said that Ed Gein was supposed to be the answer for something and it didn't work. My guess is Ed Gein. And the answer is correct. Okay, that's good, good, good times. Ed Gein, a real life figure of terror, served as the inspiration for the fictional cannibalistic psychiatrist Hannibal Lecter in a chilling twist of fate. All right, Edgar, your turn. In the Middle Ages, what deadly disease spread by fleas on rats killed an estimated 25 million people in Europe? The Black Plague. Or was that more, the Spanish? No. The bubon, 
The bubonic is the black. Anyway, let's see what the answers could be. A, cholera. B, bubonic plague. C, smallpox. 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 And D, tuberculosis. I think I, I think I, I, I think it's the bubonic. It's bubonic. And the answer is correct. Wow, well, we're all winners today, Edgar. That concludes our first round. Okay, great. Good times. We can find a way out, Sarah. Listen, Sarah. If you're not up for this, we can find a way out. This game isn't worth risking hurting you, Sarah. Matt, I think I think I need to get out of here. Yes, it's probably best if you leave. Yes, you're right. It's better to withdraw now. She's gonna die. She's gonna die so bad. I'm so sorry, Sarah. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate you on your understanding. Sarah, no. Sarah, no. Sarah. 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 Oh. <laughs> Poor Sarah. <laughs> Well, now I only have to go up against two people. Sarah will be unable to continue with the games due to an unforeseen circumstance. She tried to leave and we shot her in the back, man. With one contestant already eliminated, we'll have to skip our first mini game, albeit reluctantly. Hey, I'm gonna stab myself, that's awesome. Okay, Matt, you're offered a dangerous job in exchange for wealth. What's your choice? Mm, let's negotiate for improved safety. That sounds like a normal thing. I'm a nor, I, guys, Richard, Edgar, I'm normal. Interesting. Danger, money, and a dash of mortality. Ah, Richard, here's the question. You discover a hidden camera in your bedroom. How do you react? The answers are A, ignore it and carry on. B, report to authorities. C, install additional security measures. And D, turn it into a crazy live stream. Well, you can't do it on Twitch, that's for sure. Or maybe you can. I don't know. I've seen some crazy stuff on that website. My answer is turn into a crazy live stream. Well, okay. Interesting. Big Brother's always watching, but should you turn the tables and become the star of your own show? Voting? Uh, well, 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 things are about to get interesting. So, it's come down to this, huh? Tell me, should I trust you over the other contestant? Yes. Edgar, the champ. He's a trouble for me and for you. It'd be risky for you to face off with him in the finale, wouldn't it? How about we vote for him? Vote him out and clear the path for us. Yeah, let's do it. I'm probably gonna get betrayed. Watch your back, mate. Trust is a rare commodity in these parts. That's it? Well, we're gonna kill you, bro. I hope. I hope they didn't decide they were gonna go against me. Maybe I should vote vote for Richard, just to really turn the tables on him, you know? I don't know. Uh, I'm ready. Let's go. I guess one of the endings is gonna be everyone dies, right? I really want that to happen. I kind of feel like I could probably make that happen if I vote for Richard, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna vote for Edgar. That means he dies, right? Yeah. Richard, what about you? Come on, Richard. No hesitation, Edgar. Yes! <laughs> and the champ! I don't know why Edgar's a champ, but he's a champ, guys. Matt. All right, we have a winner, or should I say an eliminated contestant. Edgar, you're out of the game. Wait, Edgar said that? Edgar, you're out of the game. All right, folks, we're getting closer to the grand finale of this show, and that means the questions are getting a bit more serious. Each correct answer in this round will earn you a whopping $25,000, but enough chit-chat, let's dive right into the last round of questions. How long can a human survive without oxygen before experiencing irreversible brain damage? Uh, eight minutes. Eight minutes. And the answer is correct. Seven to ten minutes, the silent countdown to oblivion, suffocation's dance with death. Ah, oh, Richard, here's the question. How long can a person survive without food or water under normal conditions? One week. My guess is three to five days. And the answer is correct. Okay, I was going to say maybe five, I'm not sure. Three to five days, desperation sets in, primal instincts take over, survival becomes paramount. All right, folks, it's time for our last commercial break before the grand finale. Our two finalists will engage in a duel filled with thrills and spills, a real bloodbath of entertainment. Oh, okay. Here we are. No more games or tricks from now on. It's just you and me left, but I'm sorry. I'll be the one walking away victorious. I'll start your timer 10 seconds after your opponent, and oh, let's add a little twist. I'll make sure your opponent's rifle is, let's say, not at its best. Just a little advantage to even the odds, eh? No cheating. I don't want to cheat. What the hell? That's a shame. Was hoping we could spice things up a bit. I want to win fair and square, okay? Or lose fair and square. Both are okay with me. All right, suit yourself. But remember, no second chances in this game. It's all or nothing now. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on air. And we're about to find out who will be the winner of this exciting night. Ladies and gentlemen, and esteemed finalists, perhaps by now you've gasped. 
the grasp the essence and purpose of this spectacle. In the initial phase of questioning, we tested our contestants' knowledge, then their courage in the knife minigame. In the second phase of questioning and in the voting, we probed the morality of the players and the coldness required to choose to eliminate another individual. In the final phase of questioning, we assess whether you know the method. And if you've made it here, you have all the cards on the table to be true murderers. There's just one final step to truly... Uh, divine, I could not read that for a second, yourselves as such. Action! And so, in the last phase, you'll be armed with a rifle in 30 seconds of time. Whoever manages to take out the most people from the audience will be the new champion of this dazzling episode of our game show. Why are you clapping? You're gonna die, audience! Okay. Oh. I did it my way. Wait, stop going up and down, audience members. I guess I need to kill 39 to win, or is that the timer? I guess you can kill, like, no, stop. I guess that's what it is. You only have so much time. This audience is terrible, by the way. They're not even, they're, they, keep, they keep coming back, I think. Do they? No, maybe not. I think they, I think they die when they die. Pop up, come on, there you go. Uh, don't worry, guys. This is, this is, this is condoned by the game. They all signed. Can you stop moving so, I hate you. I still won. Still won. I only got. Tw I only killed 29 people, man. Damn it! Uh. All right, folks. It's time to announce the winner of tonight's thrilling episode. But before we do, let's give a round of applause to our brave contestants for their mm, valiant efforts. Now, without further ado, our champion, or should I say, our murderer, is none other than. No, please don't do this. I'll do anything. I'll beg. Man, bye bye, Richard. But remember. This victory isn't just about the prize. It's about the journey, the thrill of the hunt, the adrenaline rush of the kill. And let's not forget the sweet, intoxicating scent of blood in the air. So without further ado, let's crown our murderer and bid farewell to another exhilarating episode of... Who Wants to Be a Murderer? So, I understand the kills thing now. That makes sense. I. Got endings one and I and, and three, right? So I need two and four. Ending one, I died. I'm thinking ending two, everyone dies. And maybe ending four, I lose the final thing or something along those lines. Let's see. I want the everyone dies ending, so we're gonna do it. Should be pretty easy, just get to round two and then, uh, <sighs> maybe I'm not sure about that next part. It's gonna be hard to get everybody to, well, maybe not. If I can do exactly what I did last time, I'll just choose Richard and then we'll go around in a circle and we'll all die. That could be nice. All right, guys, first question. Which medieval torture device famously used to stretch the limbs and torso of its victims? Uh, that would, that's not the bowl. That's where you put someone in a metal bowl and then you heat it and then they scream and it sounds like a bowl. A guillotine is a guillotine. It's cut the head off. Iron Maiden? Uh, that one's, I think that one's like the chokey kind of thing in the, in the in Matilda movie, right? Something like that. I think it's a rack. And the answer is correct. So good. So. Let's get Sarah off the show right away, guys. That seems like a good idea. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Goodbye, and... So sad. Ultimate power is yours, but you lose your humanity. What's your decision? Uh, ex embrace darkness for power. Why not? It doesn't, doesn't matter, I don't think. Power without humanity, a tantalizing offer for the bold and heartless. He witnesses someone poisoning a stray animal. Murder them. Offer to refine their technique for a fee. Rush to aid the animal. Ignore it. Nature takes its course. Or confront and report the perpetrator. Confront him, Edgar. Offer to refine their technique for a fee. Damn, you guys are savages. To be compassionate or to be or, or to profit from his fortune, that's the dilemma. We're gonna go in on that guy. Okay, so I assume that's gonna go the same. Let's do it. This guy, he's gonna say, watch your back, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm gonna vote for Richard. We're all gonna die and it's gonna be awesome. Okay. Only thing I'm worried about is if I vote for Richard, is he gonna turn around and vote for me? Richard. I don't know, maybe maybe he's already locked in. Oh, crap. Oh, man! That's not good. I've died. I wanted us all to die, man. How come? How am I? How am I gonna do that? Okay, this time, I'm gonna kill Edgar. 
Okay, he's gonna die. Because I, I made the deal with Richard. My boy, Richard. Edgar goes down. Boom! Got him. Screw you, Edgar. I knew you were gonna choose me, you loser. What is the term for the act of killing someone by slashing their throat horizontally from ear to ear? Jeez. It's not that. I'm gonna go with insanguination. Alright, whatever. Really? It's just called throat slitting? Well, that makes sense. I just thought it was a little more complicated than that. Now we just have to shoot. So, uh... Am I gonna take the... Yeah, okay. I will... No, he's, he's not giving me the... Here we go. Little arrangement. Perfect. So, I'm gonna accept the deal. I'm only gonna shoot enough people to win. It should be, like, a pretty lame ending that way, I think. So, I think I can get... I think if I do only, like, 20... Less than 20 kills, we should be good. Here's one, two, three... Oh, four, five... Okay, I think that's enough. Okay? Just gonna chill. Show me the money. Results. Oh. He did so bad, man. 19. There we go. Drop that guy off. Goodbye. And give me my ending. How was it? How did I do? Aberration. I don't know why this is ending four, guys. I'm confused now. Okay, guys, I got the murderer ending when I killed, like, 30-something people. And I got aberration when I killed less. I thought you were supposed to get aberration if you killed, like, 39 people or something. So now I'm not really sure. I might just say forget about the other ending because I'm not really sure how the endings even work. I won. Okay? I, I, I... Walked out of here a free man while everybody else did not walk out of here. Okay, so that's pretty pretty great Go me and go you for watching this video Please hit the like button if you enjoyed and if you want to watch another one of my videos, which is like a really good idea I get this click right there